Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and in today's video we are building in the beautiful world of Windenburg. So in this video here I am doing a build that I honestly have wanted to do for such a long time and it's a you know French style chateau. So for me French architecture and just like the French culture in general is something that I've been drawn to for like most of my life. Um, I don't know, I've never been to France, um, but I really want to go at some point in my life. But I'm just fascinated with like their language and their history and their food and their architecture and just so many things. Like if it comes from France, I'm usually pretty, pretty drawn to it. So anyway, that's my long winded way of saying that I've just been really wanting to build a French chateau. So when I first started getting back into, you know, The Sims 4 and I was looking at custom content and I found Felix Andre and I saw his collections for like, um, the Petit Trianon and for um, he does like kind of like a Versailles kind of style collection too. And now with his newest collection, the Chateau collection, I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing a big, beautiful Chateau. And I didn't really have like a clear, like big inspiration for this build when I was doing it. Like I didn't really have like a reference picture per se. I was kind of fashioning the front of this home to kind of look like the back portion of Versailles, where it kind of like has, you know, a U shape, I guess, with like sort of like an inner courtyard. But again, like this looks nothing really like Versailles. It's not nearly as adorned as Versailles is. And the inside of this house, I wanted it to be, you know, sort of French, I guess, inspired. Again, I, I haven't been to France. I've only, you know, just studied what I've seen in movies and television. And, you know, like I said, I'm pretty obsessed with like French history. So I love watching documentaries and, you know, getting books and stuff on like Marie Antoinette and Napoleon and um, Louis the 14th and stuff like that. So I definitely have looked at, you know, French architecture from this time period quite a bit, but I'm not an expert, so. <laughs> It's not going to be like completely historically accurate, but anywho. So right now you see me doing the exterior of this home and um, I was having a lot of like technical difficulties while I was doing this build, just so you know. <laughs> so it might be slightly choppy here and there um, just with my editing, just because I lost some footage or I just couldn't capture some footage. Basically, I was having issues with my video card. Um, I have an AMD video card and I just built this computer um, a little while ago, like I think like four months ago, maybe, maybe a little bit more or less than that. But I put a pretty new, pretty nice AMD graphics card. And for some reason, this new driver that just came out like just kept giving me errors and my game wouldn't start and oh my gosh it was just such a nightmare and then on top of it we just got like a patch update so like my better build by wasn't working right and yeah so I didn't get into quite as much detail as I really wanted to specifically when I was doing the landscaping of this home but you'll also notice at the beginning of this video all the like fencing that's done kind of like around the front and exterior and a lot of the uh, terrain work was already done and that was done intentionally because let me tell you it was a mess <laughs> it was a mess <laughs> um, my camera was like be bopping all over the place and i just didn't feel like it was enjoyable footage so i did not include that but right now you're kind of seeing me get into laying out like where I'm going to put the gardens and stuff like that. And again, I was very, very loosely inspired by Versailles, like very, very loosely inspired. So I definitely want to have those like, you know, kind of like famous mazes in the front. But I'm going to be honest, I, I did not make that original maze that I placed down that you'll see like in the thumbnail and obviously later on towards when I'm doing the landscaping. Um, I got that off the gallery and I'll pop a, their name in the description of the user that I got that from. But yeah, I'm just not skilled enough quite yet with the tool mod to, <laughs> to do that. Um, 
I've, I still am like watching some tutorial videos and stuff like that. So I did, I had to, uh, I had to rely on the gallery to get me through that maze thing, but you know, I do all the other landscaping. I think the landscaping turned out beautiful. Um, I used Max 20, his garden at home, I believe is what the collection's called. I use that a lot for the outside landscaping and he has like the most beautiful, like, um, what are they? Hydrangeas? Is that the right plant? Um, they're gorgeous. And right now you see me building out this uh, stable and I'm just doing a nice path that kind of leads out. So you can actually, you know, take your horse outside of the, uh, the grounds, <laughs> I guess. But I also thought that was nice to put into this build too. Cause you know, a lot of these kind of like historical chateaus and stuff like that, you know, they'd have horse stables and stuff like that. And it was so nice to do like a horse stable, like outside of, uh, of Chestnut Ridge. Uh, like I've been saying, I was very excited to get out of Chestnut Ridge. Um, but also to, to talk about the custom content that I use. So I've been so far on my channel when I've been using custom content, I've been kind of like holding back and I haven't been using too much. Um, but on this build, I did not hold back. Um, I used tons, tons of custom content from lots of different creators, really all my favorite creators. So there is a full list of everything that I used. I put links for absolutely everything. It'll be in a Patreon post, which I'll link in the description of this video. But I was really inspired by a lot of other um, custom content creators that I love to watch on YouTube. Um, namely, some of them being like Bawana Sims, who I've mentioned before. She's awesome. She uses so much beautiful custom content. Um, same with uh, Simsphony, and also a newer creator who I just became familiar with because Bawana shared my, um, my channel on her page, um, Bella. And I believe her channel name is, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I feel like I'm gonna butcher it, but I think it's um, Baleza, if I'm not mistaken, is how you say her her like YouTube username. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I just think of her in my head as Bella because that's the name she, she says she has. <laughs> so anyway, I've been watching them a ton. They are amazing, amazing builders. I'll link them all below. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already but they use so much beautiful custom content. And yeah, I've been binging their channels lately and I've just been inspired by them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going balls to the wall <laughs> with custom content. And I don't think I'm gonna always do this, like where I use tons and tons and tons of custom content. I like to limit myself sometimes. And I also like to, you know, obviously only use Max's content just because I like to provide stuff that lots of different people can download, you know, whether you're on council or whether you're on like a laptop where you can't have a lot of different, you know, custom content or different packs or whatever. So this is something though that I just, I want to use a lot of different, different creators cause I just wanted this to be kind of lavish. So I use obviously a lot of Felix um, because Felix has the most amazing like historical kind of European architecture. I, I don't know, it's hard for me to pick like a favorite custom content creator, but Felix is definitely up there just because uh, his content is just so freaking beautiful and so like realistic looking. Like it's just, it's amazing. It's mind boggling. It literally makes it look like you're playing a completely different game. Like it doesn't even look like The Sims 4. Um, and then I also used a lot of uh, Pierre Sim, a lot of his Domain Du Close collection. And then I also used, you know, uh, a Winged Llama, Harry, Charlie Pancakes, just tons of stuff. But as far as the exterior of the home, it's primarily um, Petit Trianon and um, Chateau. And I'm trying to think, I think I might've used some columns from the Berlin set from, uh, oh my gosh, I almost said Pierre Sim <laughs> from Felix. So I have everything linked though, but yeah, it's a long list. So if you're not somebody who wants to download a lot of custom content, you know, it's not going to be the house for you to download, but hopefully you'll still enjoy watching it because I think it came out absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm pretty obsessed with the interior. So uh, right now you see me decorating just this like front entry area and this front entry area is 
freaking gigantic. <laughs> it's a very like grand front entry, that's for sure. And I kind of want to do that thing that you see in a lot of in a lot of like traditional homes where they have that little table with the flowers on it and the chairs that I don't think anybody ever sits in, but <laughs> they're there. They're just beautiful chairs. But I also want to say too, I'm doing kind of like a different building style. And this was actually something Boana told me that I should do. <laughs> and I think she's totally right. And it was a great tip, but she was like, build out your rooms completely, like do the whole thing and then put everything you just did in inventory and then refilm it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> but I started doing it and I was like, wait a minute, this is actually brilliant because this cuts down on my editing so much and it makes my footage look so much more clean and precise and I'm not like fishing through the catalog like crazy. You know, now I can just do that all off camera. I can have like mini panic attacks and go through the catalog like when I'm not recording. <laughs> so you guys don't see the panic of me trying to pick out stuff. I'm just, you know, you just see the end result, <laughs> so to speak. But I think it's more enjoyable to watch and it's certainly a lot easier to uh, to edit. And this video came out, I, I don't know, I think we're like at around like 28 minutes. I'm not too sure once I finish editing the whole thing, but a build like this for me would usually take like an hour it would usually be like an hour's worth even after cutting it down so because this house is huge and so as far as what this house does hold um it has four bedrooms so it has like three like main bedrooms so you know a master bedroom for the parents and then a toddler room and then kind of like a teen style room and then right off next to this kitchen and dining room i did like a butler's quarters because i don't know I feel like a house like this just kind of like calls for having a butler, you know, it's just kind of grand. Um, but you know, you can turn that into whatever you want. But I do actually have Sims currently in this house and my idea is like, I have this like family, this very like affluent, wealthy kind of fancy family living here. And I have the main Sim, I have him as like a, uh, what is it? I think it's like a world leader or something like that. Like that's his career path or his, uh, his career, I should say, not the path, but yeah, it's his full on career. And, you know, he's got a wife and he's got a teenage daughter and he's got a little toddler son. And uh, yeah, that's my storyline. <laughs> I'm not good with storylines. So, uh, you know, you obviously, if you download this home, you can have whoever the heck you want in this house. But that's, uh, that's my idea for my gameplay that I'm gonna use this home for. And I, um, I'm doing the kitchen right now, which this is probably, again, I have to say this in every single one of my builds, I have to announce my favorite room. And this is my favorite room because I love the color scheme in here. Like if I had to pick a dream kitchen, this would probably be my dream kitchen. Like, you know, lots of whites and blues and it kind of has that French, look to it you know what I as an American think of a French kitchen this is how I picture it so obviously I'm using a lot of items from you know Felix's new chateau collection but I'm using a lot of clutter items just from a bunch of different creators I'm using clutter from uh, Pierre Sim I'm using clutter from 6am um, I'm using just a ton just a ton of stuff but you know I have it all linked it'll all be linked everything you need but a lot of the collections that I do link like I put like David's apartment from Pierre Sim and stuff like that which that's like a more like kind of mid-century modern type collection but I'm not using a lot of the furniture from that I'm using a lot of the clutter so honestly I mean if you're not too concerned about having like every last piece of clutter that I use in this home I think you can pretty much download Everything from Felix that I'll link, everything from Pierre Sim that I link, and everything from Clutter Cat. And I think you'll pretty much have like the tent poles of what you'll need for this home, just without, you know, all the decorations. But, you know, if you want every single last thing that I put in this home, then yeah, you'll just, you'll have to download it. Everything pretty much is on CurseForge, and I have direct links that'll take you right to CurseForge. Or you can just go and actually like, you know, search the actual creator 
and just download their collections just based on what I list there, that would probably be even easier. Um, and then there are some collections that are on like Patreon, but not too many. There's just some from like a wing llama and like Charlie pancakes and stuff like that. There are also some um, early access sets that I use too. I think I used two sets, one from Felix, which is his Chateau part seven. That's the one that's like a bedroom collection. So for example, that rug that I just placed down here in the living room that I'm doing right now, that's from Chateau part seven. And that is on, or that's going to be released for the public on October 3rd. And then the other one I used was Charlie's, I'm sorry, not Charlie, Harry's latest collection from her Coastal. I think it's Coastal Part 8 or Part 7, I can't recall. But those striped curtains, those blue and white ones that I used in the kitchen just a minute ago, those are um, also going to be released on October 3rd for public access. So if you guys want to hold off and, you know, get this build when those are public access or, you know, if you want to support them on Patreon... Those are two creators I highly recommend supporting on Patreon. But anywho, getting back to what I'm doing, because I feel like I'm just flying through this build. So you would have seen me do, you know, the kitchen, the dining room, and I did the living room. And right now I'm doing this little room that I have kind of like hidden behind the bookcase. Um, Felix has an amazing bookcase collection from his Chateau collection. And it has like this doorway. So it's like a secret bookcase doorway and I made this cute little art room so you just see me finishing that up there and now I'm doing this room here so it's this is probably my favorite part of the house too where you can like look down from the second level and see the living room and see that bookcase down there from the chateau collection and then you also have it continue up here and I was really inspired by like Beauty and the Beast and you know how in that movie there's like a two-story library and stuff like that I don't know I just it was my idea I think it came out really cool though and it's just it's very grand and it's just very you know is it realistic I don't know <laughs> but I think it looks really cool so I'm just decorating this portion now here which you know has a little desk and computer and whatnot and you know there's books scattered everywhere there's books throughout the entire house just like non-stop that's a continuing theme I just you know I wanted it to seem like a real like bookworm lived here the um one sim that I have living here who's like a world leader or whatever the heck his title is you know I just picture like he went to a real like you know fancy expensive ivy league school and you know, he's very well read. He's very cultured. He's just, you know, he's a super fancy guy. So, <laughs> but now I am doing, this is at the top of the staircase. So this is what takes you um, off to the left-hand side of the screen. That'll take you to that library area. And then over to the right-hand side of the screen, that'll take you to um, two of the different bedrooms, the toddler's bedroom and then the parent's bedroom. And then there's also two doors there that take you to two bathrooms. So I put a lot of bathrooms in here. I did like one powder room up here, a full bathroom, and then full bathrooms off both of the bedrooms that you see off to the side there. Or <laughs> I'm decorating it right now, I should say. This is the um, parents' master bathroom here. So this is a huge master. It's got like a full seating area. It's, it's very, very grand. And this is the only bathroom that you'll see me decorate in this build. All the other ones I just did off camera, but I do include them at the end of this video in, you know, my little slideshow that I do of all the, all the rooms. But this was the one that was kind of different from all the other ones. So I'm using a lot of stuff from just everybody. I'm using that tub was from Felix Andre. And then I use like the mirror from Felix Andre, but then the uh, vanity is from Clutter Cat. And throughout the rest of the home, I use a lot of the bathroom from, I think it's called Dandy Diary or something like that from Clutter Cat. It's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom collection. And I use that in like almost every bathroom. And then I also use Auntie Vera's bathroom from Pierre Sim 2, which is another one of my favorite custom content bathrooms. But the bedroom here, that's where you see that bed that I was mentioning from Felix's latest collection from the Chateau collection. And that is the one that is going to be released on October 3rd. So 
yeah, if you want to wait to download this home or, you know, like I said, you can download the home, put a different bed down, put different rugs down, whatever. Um, also the, I think you say it's a Shinoza, Shinoza Ri. I don't, I'm not, I'm butchering that, but that wallpaper, that like really pretty floral wallpaper, that's also from Felix's latest collection. So that is also something that, you know, if, if you don't support him on Patreon, you don't have that download it. That is something that will be missing from the build, but you can just wait also until October 3rd. When I'm recording this right now, it's the 15th, and so not that far away if you want to just hold off. Or, you know, it's five bucks if you want to support Felix on Patreon. I highly recommend supporting him on Patreon. He's such an amazing creator, and I think he deserves even more than five dollars, honestly. Like, what he's doing just creating for this game is just it's amazing for people like me who want to you know build in this game because the stuff you you can't get from Maxis it's just I don't know it's probably too detailed for them to do I don't know I don't know why they can't create this kind of stuff <laughs> but it's just amazing it's so unique and it's just it reminds you of places you know in Europe, well, it doesn't remind me of it because I haven't been to Europe yet, but it's just, it's something nice. It's something not, you know, what you see in like suburban America, which is really nice. But right now I am doing the toddler's bedroom. So I love that little like raised bed area there. Um, that bed is from a winged llama. And then I did the cute little shelves on either side and I just wanted it to feel like a cozy, like little nook where the little little kid sleeps. And um, I do like this little play area that you see me decorating right there with a little toy box. And then behind that screen there, I have the little changing table area. So, you know, it's a little private where they can get changed. And like I said before, there's also a bathroom off of there too. And now here, this is, I wanna say the final room that I am doing. So this is the like teen girl's bedroom that I'm doing. And also, sorry if you can hear a lot of coughing in the background right now. My pug Buster, he's got such bad allergies right now. So he's like hacking his little, poor little lungs up. So sorry if you can hear him coughing in the background, but uh, it's fall where I'm at, or it's starting to become fall where I'm at right now, and I don't know what the heck is in the air, but he's coughing up a lung like crazy, and I'm like super stuffed up too. Ugh, allergies. You gotta love them, right? But anyway, I'm doing the teens room here, and I love this room too. It's just so fun. It's got kind of that like modern, like Marie Antoinette kind of thing going on with the color scheme, and... Oh no, I did lie. This is the final room. <laughs> this is the butler's room that I'm doing right now. But like I said, you can obviously make this into whatever you want. You know, it can be for a butler, it can be a guest room, it can be, you know, another family member's room, you know, whatever the heck you want to do with it. But I like the way this one came out. It came out just very like, I don't know, has kind of like somebody who is very sophisticated and uh, definitely... It feels like a butler would would have this room. I don't know. To me, it feels like a butler would. So now we're doing, let's see, this is the like pool area here. And I love this room. I love that little um, like alcove there. That's from Felix's, um, oh God, I don't want to butcher the name because it's French. And my French pronunciation is not the best, but it is from his like Versailles inspired collection that I think he did a little while ago. I think like back in like 2017, but then I put a statue there and I believe that's the Venus statue there. Um, and I'm just finishing up, just kind of decorating the back area here of the house. So I put some cute little sitting areas, a place to, you know, play chess. And you can see off there um, behind where that seating area was, I have like a little jumping area for the horses. And yeah, final thing is me just doing this cute little painting area under that beautiful gazebo. But anywho, 
Pictures should now be rolling, but I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I hope you guys also want to just download it and use it in your game like I am. Um, you can, like I said, find the link for all the CC that I use in the Patreon posts that I'll link down in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider like, subscribe, comment. I really, really do appreciate the support. But I hope you guys are just having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye now.